Hey, so this ended up being a, a uh, oh, sorry, do the clap. Oh, clap. <laughs> that's because we're professionals. We clap. That's what yeah. professionals do. We care about the sound. Uh, so, uh, Ace has made a big point throughout the series about planning, and I planned 12 episodes, but we also only had three hours in here, and we, w we had one hour and 40 yeah. minutes trying to set up because the equipment was well, really Well, it just gives up. me another reason to come back to Tokyo, doesn't it? It, we it can does. We finish up. So we've got, we've got so much more cool conversations and information to share, but we've only got time this series for one more episode. So this has been a six-part series on uh, Ace Producer versus Geek YouTuber. And this is a wrap-up episode. Today we are going to be talking about pretty much all the, all the stuff that we had set up for six more episodes that we would have done over like 10 hours. Uh, but we're going to do it in uh, five minutes. Uh, no, we're not going to do it in five minutes. But we're going to try because you're going to have a wife waiting downstairs who's going to be very yeah. upset. So, are we going to talk about how is the world of commercial video production and YouTube online video, how is it going to converge? How is that going to happen? And what is commercial video and what is YouTube getting wrong towards making that happen? Okay, three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> Summarize how are we going to fix all the world's problems, peace in the <laughs> Middle East, uh, uh, fixing, converging commercial and online video. How are we going to do I, it? I think that's it. it there, there has to be a bit of give and take from both sides here. Um, and um, you can't, we, we spoke about this the other night. You yep. know, if, if YouTube wants to be taken seriously, YouTube has to perhaps start encouraging things other than cat videos or, or what. I, I use the, the term cat video, meaning, you know, just what is the latest thing which is getting millions of views. Yeah. If they're serious about quality, yeah. in my opinion, opinions are like arms, everyone's got them. If they're serious about um, quality, then they need to be less reliant on, on pushing those cat videos and actually reward the the people that are trying to do some quality like as when i watch what you do you're doing the classic the Come tokyo me. Well, the, the tokyo <laughs> to, the tokyo Promote me youtube feature me there are people who do that look the tokyo <laughs> tonight show is the classic way where sorry just keep, the keep geeky, talking the geeky the geeky guy starts talking to his webcam yes and that's Crazy been done ever since the phone. beginning of youtube right yes but what you're doing is you're you're changing it up you're adding little bits here and there and it's becoming more and more like a tv show um surely baby steps that's what youtube should be pushing is actually stuff like that i think um, it is doing that in its own way at the same time youtube i think understands it's a platform it's not, it, it, it is trying to get a little bit in the content game and there are YouTubers it is promoting and it is promoting, it used to follow the analytics, purely the analytics. And in the early days they would say, hey man, you know, toy opening videos, huge, you should be opening some toys and you should be cooking something. And uh, do you know any magic tricks? Because magic tricks are big. And, and if you have a cat, you should totally be putting the cat. They used to tell us that in the early days. And that was kind of a sign that they, they kind of needed to not just look at the analytics. But that's exactly what you said the production companies were kind of doing as well, right? They're kind of deciding Definitely. what what's hot right now. They are, you can see, well, they're clearly selected people who they are pushing as representatives of YouTube. And they're, they're, they're not cats per se. I'm, I'm kind of, my view is kind of, I don't know if YouTube, I understand why they're doing it to be more credible towards commercial advertisers and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I almost think just, YouTube just keep leaving a great platform that's great as a social platform that gives us all the everything we need to put any type of video that we want up. Yeah, and they're very good at that with the 360 videos, the, the 8K videos, all the stuff before broadcast is able to do this stuff. YouTube's offering these mediums um, that yeah, you know, people are going to be able to watch virtual reality videos. They can watch them now. It's going to be years before they can watch them on TV. So I think they're good as a platform. I don't know that they should be pushing too much on the on the. They are pushing with the content thing. But, but so why, why isn't, here's the thing, for me, from 20 years ago, honestly, from the 1990s, it was technically possible to have constant streaming. I could be watching New Zealand TV, not all the channels, or both of them, three of them, uh, all the time in Japan. There's no technical restriction on me being able to watch any TV show ever made in Japan in my home. I can live in Japan, I can live in Antarctica, and I could simulate living mm -hmm. and watching TV in any country. Yeah. 
but that's never happened and I find that extremely frustrating the fact that I want to watch a TV series that everyone's talking about online but I have to wait for three months because I'm in Japan and they want to subtitle it or they want to control the release yeah. dates and stuff like that and that's it's not available online and that's why people download them illegally they complain about the illegal downloading but they don't make it available for us to digest so when is commercial video going to get a clue and when am I going to be able to watch anything I want that's out there? Well, you're, you're not going to, though, are you? Really? Because, because it's all about advertising. It's all about money. And, <sighs> and unfortunately, if you want those TV shows to be distributed here in Japan, someone's going to have to pay for that. But if you can just digitize it and put it, what is the cost if you're distributing it digitally? I mean, I can understand if it's DVD boxes and, and shipping crates and stuff. It costs, it costs the, um, the salary of the bean counter. Oh, that's it's, what it costs. And those it, guys it cost costs Ace a lot of money. Yeah, Ace is an expensive guy. That's well, the, someone's... <laughs> you should work for free. I, I that's what we do. <laughs> I, I, certainly, I certainly don't get any of that action. Um, but He gets a little bit of it, but yeah. Okay. But we... Um, we have to, yeah. I, but so do we. we can this is unfair. Well. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I'm oh, sorry, this is an ambush interview. No, we get AdSense as well. Look, we're, 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 we're going to... Yeah. Well, but, I mean, but why should the money... I don't get it. There, there's a demand. I, I'm demanding you know, to be able to watch. But, and I understand it's too niche. It's too small. If there's not a critical mass for the market mm. to make it commercially viable, they don't do it. And that's why it hasn't happened. I get that. But surely with YouTube and with these platforms out there that make it so... That lower the cost burden of distribution anyway. Yeah. Why are we still stuck in this thing that I have to wait for something to come on cable TV before I can watch it online? Why don't you know? Well, I'd... and is that going ever going to change? I mean, South, you think South Park? Uh, so many people were downloading it, ripping it illegally, but they put it up. You know, three days after the broadcast, they put it online. We're being told to go. Um... Okay, so we have to go. We have to pack up. We're going to have to watch this again. Um, <laughs> we're going to try again. Six episodes. I guess we never got a conclusion on that. We'll get you live on a hangout again sometime. Uh, Ace will be back. There's going to be more Hinagaijin. There's going to be more Hinagaijin. It just hasn't been decided on yet exactly where. But planning. He hasn't planned we're, it. We're going, no, we haven't planned it yet. But it'll probably be, um, I'll probably let you know first before anyone else. Cool. Looking forward to that. Okay, see you for another series soon, hopefully, of uh, uh, Ace Producer and Geek YouTuber. And uh, peace out. That's going to be it for this series. Look forward to the next series, hopefully. You gotta come back to Japan, we can come back yeah, to the Yeah, we're gonna do this again. Cool, all right, peace. Okay, let's pack up.